Hello Virgo, thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. I have a different low setup today. It's a little different, so hopefully it'll work okay. So, thank you to all my subscribers, all my viewers, all the people who leave comments. I appreciate it so much. I'm going to start off with the Celtic Wisdom deck for you today, Virgo. So the first one for you is Clarity 17. So clarity is good. This means that things are going to come together. Things that may have been confusing you lately or didn't make sense, that clarity somehow is going to come to you. Whether you're, it's just going to come to you in your thinking or somebody's going to drop something um, in your way of hearing something that's going to help you have clarity or you're going to see something that's going to help you have clarity and that sure does not look good up there. It's a little better. Okay, the next one is understanding number two. So I think you may have had this last week. It talks about how you're following your path and you're getting ready to align. Like some of you are probably ascending or you have ascended, so you probably feel it. You feel like a lot of darkness is parting. So now this kind of makes sense. So I do feel like a lot of you Virgos have already went through a transformation. I feel like um, you're ascending, your vibration has upgraded quite a lot. And how do I say this? So a lot of circumstances around what you've been involved in in the last few weeks has helped you to ascend. I know you didn't think it worked like that and you kind of found it out like, wow. Because people, I feel, um, how do I say this? They come at you for the way you believe and the way you are, like it's because it's different. They judge you for it, but then they're going to turn around and accuse you of judging them. So there's a big thing on clarity and understanding that you're who you are, you know who you are, you're in your garden of happiness, you've been following your path and prosperity is coming to you. So be clear in knowing who you are. I mean, all I can say is you've come out of a dark forest time in your life, Virgo, to where you're more aware of what's going on. Way more than you ever realized you could be aware. So practice intuition. <laughs> so now that you've up leveled quite a lot and you're more aware than you already were before, this is saying that you need to practice um, more of what your intuition tells you because now that you have raised your vibration you have more um, purpose okay so you kinda know why you're here more so this just says to stay on your path and do what's best for you as you always have done Virgo I hope this makes sense alright so now I'm going to switch to the cat mystical cat's tarot deck so it seems like a lot of my readings have been spiritual and I know that a lot of people like love and a lot of my um, um, viewing time has went down and it's kind of what it is because I feel like I am changing, I'm transforming and my vibration is up leveling and I'm trying to make people who else that might be happening to aware and it's sad that because I'm not focusing on love. My videos aren't getting out there and people aren't seeing. But there is a lot of Virgos who are up-leveling, upgrading your vibration. Um, you know, and I don't know how much to go into that because I notice not too many other readers go into that. And I'm kind of new at it, so... Alright, so we're going to start with the Mystical Cats Tarot deck. The first one is Five of Earth. So Five of Earth is being left out in the cold. Feeling lonely. And the next one is Sea Queen. So Sea Queen is stability, grounded, clear of your emotions, clear of your big picture of the future. You're pretty stable in your thinking and you're the way you want your life to be. You're very stable in that. I already know where the cards are going, but we'll see. So Earth Kitten. Earth Kitten is somebody coming in that I feel is more like you, Virgo. They're going to come in and either be your friend or bring you something, but I do feel like that. The wheel, this is beautiful. So your 
everyday life is getting ready to change as you know it. Something about your everyday life is not going to be the same. You are turning the wheel yourself. You have changed everything in your life by raising your vibration. And you're about ready to find out what that means. Good kitty, this is beautiful, Virgo. The universe feels you put good karma out there and they're giving you good karma back. The universe is very proud of you. Your ancestors are proud of you. You have done really well. So Ten of Sky says that it wasn't easy. There were a lot of times when you felt like backed into a corner by somebody. You could be feeling that way now, I guess. Um, but you're alone there. You're alone. You seem kind of afraid. But it's not like that anymore is what I feel that was the past. So this is Nine of Fire. So usually this means addiction to me. But today it means that there's people like you, Virgo. You see the columns in there that represents the divine holding you up and supporting you. And you're getting ready to meet people like you. You are so close. There are... I feel like the Divine is talking about you too. This is them um, up there talking about how you've up leveled and how good you did. So the Sky Queen is somebody who's very protective, very on guard with their emotions. They watch people, but they're not as forthcoming as they used to be. And I feel like that is you, Virgo. You are not very um, outgoing as you once were. I would say as you were three weeks ago. So this is denial. This is something in front of your face that you're not seeing. Three is C and it has to do with friends. So you're in denial about a friend, Virgo. Ooh, ten of fire. So this is drama. And I see one, two, three, three other people in there. And the columns mean that the, the Divine has you. They're supporting you, Virgo, while this drama is going to go down or whatever these people are trying to bring your way. Um, in case you noticed, why is everybody looking at you run away in this picture? The other cats are looking at the one cat running out, which means there's three people I feel around you that are watching you. So, Earth Tom is a helper coming in. The universe is going to send somebody in to help you. So, Nine of Sky, is you feeling stressed maybe or sleeping or somebody else feels this way? Okay, yeah, I do feel like as soon as your helper comes in, it stresses somebody else out, Virgo. Somebody's going to be very stressed out once your helper comes in. Well, that was weird. That was a weird noise. So yeah, somebody doesn't like it that somebody's coming to help you. So I think I'm going to switch to the Tarot Illuminati now. Just looking at the other cards. I see abundance coming into you in the other deck. So let's switch to the Tarot Illuminati. So let's put it this way. I feel like that stress is for whoever is creating the drama for you. It's not going to go down the way they want it to. And they're not going to like that. So they're going to lay around and sleep and dream and try and figure out why it didn't go the way they wanted to. But you know why it didn't go the way they wanted it to, Virgo. Because the universe didn't want it to go the way they wanted it to. They were not supported. So Seven of Cups is choices. You have choices in a lot of things, it says to me. And then you have three of pentacles. So this could be friends or co-workers around you interfering. So ace of pentacles. This is stability, growth with your coins, security. Princess of cups is somebody offering love. This is somebody who is honest. When they offer love, it's honest love. So five of cups. I feel like somebody you offered love to is really sad. Virgo, because you um, ghosted them. That was your first card in the tarot decks down here of the Mystical Cats, and it's coming up again. So, Eight of Swords. So, somebody feels like they're in their own prison. They kind of self-sabotage. They're blaming themselves, it looks like, for 
what they did to you or what, yeah, somebody's blaming themselves. Somebody misses you and they're blaming themselves for something. So the chariot, this is you moving forward. You're going forward fast. You have a lot of things to do and a lot of places to go. I see travel here. King of Swords. So King of Swords is somebody coming in wanting to talk. I feel like this person is kind of negative and they're just coming in, I feel like, to trip you up. They're just coming in to talk smack. So Nine of Swords. I feel like this person is stressed out when they come in to talk to you and it doesn't go the way they want it to. Five of Pentacles. Somebody's feeling left out. So we've had three cards where you go for somebody feeling left out and hurt. And I don't feel like it's you. I feel like you left somebody out. Maybe this is saying you left three people in the past, Virgo. And then we have two stressed out cards, so you stressed two people out when you did that. Wow. So Seven of Wands. This is you saying you feel like you have to be warrior mode. You feel like you have to defend yourself because people don't have your best interest in mind. They come at you and you're very kind and giving, but people are coming at you lately, like, trying to take. And I feel like a lot of people have been showing their colors, so to speak, or showing their, um, yeah, showing their colors to you on how they are. And when you see it, you, you're aware. You're like, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So the lovers, this could be Gemini placement. So Queen of Cups. So you went from Princess of Cups to Queen of Cups. So somebody I feel like is growing in their self-love. Virgo, I feel like it's you. I feel like your self-love is so powerful right now. Nobody could totally come at you and manipulate you or lie to you. You are, you have learn more self-worth in the last three weeks than you've ever learned in your life. So now you have the sun, happiness. This could be Leo or Cancer placement, but this is happiness. You learn to love yourself, so therefore happiness is coming to you. You're done with people wanting a piece of you or wanting to, you know, here Virgo, come help me. Oh, sorry Virgo, I have nothing to give you. Thank you, bye, see you later. So the hanged man is either a delay I feel like a lover is stalled out. A lover is thinking of how to come back to you is what I'm getting. You've got a lover confused. They don't understand why you're not reaching out. So Nine of Cups. The reason you're not reaching out is because you feel pride right now. You feel proud. You've found your self-worth. You've learned to love yourself and not put up with the disrespect anymore. Not to put up with people threatening your integrity like their integrity is better than your integrity. You're tired of it. It's like, okay, accept me as I am. If you want to compete with integrity, I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to walk away. You're not really a competitor. Um, people try to come across like that to you, though. They compete with you and then try to blame you when they act froggy over it, I feel. And you're just like, what? What just happened? So look at this. The Empress, beautiful. So the Empress is somebody who is very intuition, very wears their heart on the sleeve. I feel like this person is very, very beautiful, very domesticated. Her light shines really, really bright. And maybe the Queen of Cups is loving, the Empress is intuition. The Empress is somebody who's learned from her intuition. So I feel like this is you, Virgo, that you loved yourself as a Princess of Cups and then you up level to a Queen of Cups and now you've already been an Empress but you're kind of growing into your own power in the Empress um, vibration if you understand what I'm saying. So I do see a lot of happiness coming towards you. More people of your own kind are coming towards you. So Three of Wands, you have choices to make, I feel, concerning something. <laughs> judgment. So judgment is either you making a decision about something. So you have a choice. So I feel like somebody's going to put you to where you have to make a choice. Somebody's going to give you a choice to make, 
And if somebody puts you in a decision where you have to make a, a decision, you are going to make the best decision for yourself. You maybe before, three weeks ago, would have made it for somebody else. Or you, I feel like you used to sugarcoat things. You didn't like to hurt people. You didn't like to stand up so much for yourself. And something shifted, and now it's like... You kind of understand. The universe wanted you to go through what you went through because it made you shift. It made you look at yourself like, wow, why why do I have I met with this throughout my life over and over? And it's a certain, um, how do I say it, a certain thing people have placed on you your whole life. And you just got sick of hearing it. And finally, the last time you heard it, you were just like, oh my gosh, and you start, why, why, you're asking the universe, why have I heard this my whole life, why do people come at me like this, and the universe decided you were ready to understand why people come at you like that, and you knew all along why, um, but it helped to hear it from the universe, to confirm it, and for some of you, it got confirmed, for others of you, you could be waiting for it to get confirmed, and it will come, but for a lot of you, it did get confirmed. So this is the devil. This is toxic energy. Could be Capricorn placement around you. This is toxic energy. Somebody who's jealous. They have uh, addictions. The emperor also comes to me as narcissist. So you have a, a codependent, addictive narcissist around you, Virgo. So hopefully you know who this is. And two cards came out for him. And the universe wanted to build you up and show you your strength before they showed you these two cards. So then you have the Queen, Princess of Wands. So the Princess of Wands, I feel like this person has somebody helping them. Somebody who does their... Somebody who talks in their ear. Let's put it that way. This person is communicating with this person. Um, pushing them to do some of the things they're doing. Oh, and then we have Queen of Pentacles. So there's another person as well talking to this person. So he has a younger person and an older person telling him how to deal with you, so to speak. Look at this hermit. Here you come out, Virgo. They don't know who they're dealing with. Virgo came out in her own reading after the queens want to show up. The, queens want, or the princess and the queen want to show up, and the emperor, the narcissist, Capricorn, and then here comes hermit, Virgo. Okay, I'm back. Two of Wands. Are you going to make me make a decision? Do I have to do this, is what you're saying. I'd rather not do this. So it looks like, Virgo, you're going to bring a tower down on somebody. Somebody is not paying attention to how they treated you, and they keep thinking they can treat you how they want and come back. I feel like a lot of people think this, but there's one person in specific who thinks they can treat you however they want and keep coming back. And you are... Like, oh my gosh. So you're about ready to give this person a tower. And you're going to stand in your own... You're going to communicate power to this person. You're going to stand in your own independence. This is an independent person who says, Okay, the tower just fell and I'm still standing. Where are you? Virgo is standing all by herself. The tower fell. There's Virgo. Her pride is still intact. His. Could be his or her. Nine of Wands. This is warrior mode. This is warrior feeling like you have to defend yourself to a bunch of lower energies. Um, look at this in Ten of Cups. You're going to find your happiness. You're exactly doing what you're supposed to be doing, Virgo. You are on path. And Prince of Swords. So somebody's coming in. They want to communicate. Somebody's riding in kind of fast. Look at me. I want to talk. Maybe I want a new beginning. Somebody's regretting Eight of Cups. They're thinking over everything they've done to you. The full moon could be especially harsh for them, but somebody's looking at what they didn't do in a relationship or what they did do that was not appropriate. And Ten of Swords. This person feels like they have Ten Swords in their back because you walked away. You're done. You didn't keep, keep giving energy to this. You're holding your energy and your coins close to you and your thoughts. Everything is close to you. No more. No more sharing with anybody. And this is Seven of Wands, sneaky behavior. Somebody trying to be sneaky still. Be aware of it, Virgo. Yeah, somebody who's juggling is trying to, and strength comes out. This is Leo, so some of you could be Virgo Leo Cuspers. But somebody's going to try and play you. But your intuition is going to kick in. 
and this person is going to go away. They're going to communicate with you again, and you're going to stand in your power. They're going to make things difficult. I feel like they're going to communicate with you. People are going to come in, but you are going to get rid of that pretty quickly. Things are going to balance out. The justice, justice cards come out. Balance. All right, so the time is going really fast, so let me pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards. So the first one, Virgo, is imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. So you're a dreamer. You dream about what you want to come to you and what you want, and it's coming. You know it is. So keep dreaming. Dream big. Everything you can dream of that you want. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. You kind of know since you up-leveled your vibration, the universe is bringing you what you want. So you are releasing doubt. You have no doubts. And you understand you can't know everything because they're bringing it to you in their time. Surrender is I can release my need to control. There's two cards on control here. I feel like a lot of people are losing control over you, Virgo. And they are going crazy. They don't like it. You release control of somebody who had control over you. And you're done with it. You are done. You are so secure and growing to your future. It's amazing. So let me see. Now I'm going to pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards. Or no, this is the Earth Wisdom. Or no, this is the... Oh my goodness. The uh, Wisdom, the Ocean Wisdom deck. Oracle. So here we go. So the Gift of Neutrality. This is the Nautilus. The Nautilus can re deflect negative energy. It can balance really well, which is you, Virgo. You can make yourself not sink to the bottom, and you can make yourself not float to the top. You have incredible balance. You have incredible neutrality. You're the kind of sign that can come into um, an abundance and not be stuck up, even though people think you are because you're so beautiful. But you totally can do that and be giving and kind to other um, people. So the next one for you of the be insightful and establish. Ground to release your rebalance your energy, bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or the future. So I do feel like you've released the past and people who come up from your past, you are so beyond that, it's not even anything you want to entertain in your life. You have moved beyond that, and so people don't understand that. A lot of people stay in the same vibration, the same energy for a long time and never change. And that's not your um, MO, so to speak. You are constantly changing, you're constantly growing, constantly raising your vibration to those of you that are. And I know a lot of you aren't interested that this is such a spiritual reading, but it's just reading what they're reading. What the cards are saying. So angel and ancestors is she-wolf. Unleash the wolf within. The wild within. So I do feel like the universe is, is allowing you to be more expressive. Allowing you to feel safe in expressing your gifts and your talents that may shock other people. They're telling you to go for it. It's time. You've up-leveled enough. You don't care if people believe you or not and it's just time to go it's time to go forward with what you feel in your soul that you should be going forward and doing so to speak so there's something in you Virgos that you feel you need to move forward and learn and start doing that so the next one for you is Spirit Fox trust your talents on changing times so this is beautiful this talks about you have so much spiritual guidance in you that you are like a fox. Foxes are clever and smart and most people don't like foxes in reality because they think they're you know they know how to be clever and not get caught and get away with a lot of stuff. In this card spirit fox is not a, a deviant fox. This is somebody who's learned skills throughout their lifetimes and they've learned the spirits of taught them skills to learn how to be two, three, four, five, six steps ahead of other people. Um, and you got it. You know you got it. So look at this. You have a lot of knowledge around the full moon. You have a lot of divine guiding you. There's feathers here. There's feathers here. A lot of you are aware of your... I'm seeing Metrotron too, for those of you who understand what that is. If you don't and you're interested, you can Google that. 
there's a big vibration change and I don't know if there's going to be more I'd have to google and read but there has been a big shift for those of you who understand um, gosh I don't even know what to say or how to say it I never know how much to say so okay well I'm going to stop here and thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot bless you Virgo